types of blockchain there are mainly three types of blockchain a public blockchain a private blockchain and a consortium blockchain public blockchain also known as permissionless blockchain in this type of blockchain anybody can connect to the network anybody can read and write data on the blockchain and from the blockchain data on a public blockchain are secure and is not possible to tamper them because they need a consensus on this to for any change they need to pass this change to everybody and they need to validate it so any faulty node passing any wrong data will be rejected in a public blockchain in this blockchain no identity is revealed all the accounts are anonymous and it is basically a trustless system where the trust is achieved from untrusted nodes by the consensus for example there is bitcoin blockchain and ethereum blockchain which are both permissionless blockchain then we will come to the private blockchains private blockchains or permission blockchain these are basically in an organization so in this the identity of every person is known and only the people who have been registered in this blockchain can only do transactions and only read and write data otherwise nobody else have access to it in this case also you you don't need a very high kind of consensus mechanism because all the nodes are trusted nodes so it can be a very easy consensus also so some examples of this private blockchain or permission blockchain are hyperledger and medichain hyperledger is from ibm consortium blockchain advantages of both public and private blockchain are combined in the consortium blockchain so how does this work so basically it combines both the privacy benefits of private blockchain where only uh, there are known entities and nobody else can get into it that is the privacy benefit of private blockchain which is put into the consortium blockchain and transparency and security of public blockchain the transparency of the public blockchain is where anybody can read and write data from the blockchain and security of public blockchain the security is basically you are trusting the untrusted nodes so this was all about the types of blockchain and in the consortium blockchain example there is this blockchain known as r3 corda bitcoin the first ever implementation of the blockchain a wide view of the blockchain technology and its underlying features is bitcoin bitcoin is the first decentralized digital currency it was founded by a group named as satoshi nakamoto it has a distributed ledger which is available to all the peers in the blockchain public for all to access this is basically a public blockchain so anybody can access anybody can create an account and join into it and they can transact with real money uh, first converted into bitcoin and then you can have a transaction transactions are immutable so immutable impossible to hack in this the transactions cannot be changed because once in a block the transaction has gone into it if you change any transaction the hash of the block will change and all the next blocks will get invalid so transactions are immutable so impossible to hack double spending is not possible as i have told you what is double spending it is not possible in bitcoin due to its protocol this uses cryptography to control its creation and management there is a certain amount of bitcoin which can only be mined there are about 21 million bitcoins which can be mined and to control this mining process there is something known as difficulty 
so as more and more bitcoins are mined they the complexity or the difficulty increases so that each uh, at a period of time very less bitcoins are mined and it is estimated that by 2140 the last bitcoin will be mined ledger ledger is electronic every transaction is verified and validated before adding in a ledger which is a public ledger uh, so basically a distributed ledger is where all the verified and validated transactions are added then proof of work is used for the consensus mechanism out here so each miner has to show his proof of work for this consensus mechanism miners get rewards for mining the blocks into the chain so every time a miner adds a block into the chain there is certain amount of bitcoins which he mines with his block so that he gets some reward for doing this.